Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. Today we're going to enter probably my favorite stage in the game. The Pinball Zone. Those of you who have known me for a long time, it's no secret that I'm a pinball aficionado. I can't even really play most computer pinball anymore because it just because it just takes too long. I know all the techniques for keeping the ball in, and I can keep a game going for hours on end. And don't even get me started on something like Pokemon Pinball. Because I've got a game going on the Sapphire table right now that's been going on for months on and off. I was already able to max the bonus multiplier once, and I think I put up a video of it a while ago. Uh, not getting, like, a maxed bonus multiplier, but fairly close. Now, the way you clear these rooms is by putting the four pinballs in their slots, and then a 500 coin uh, will pop out, and you'll be able to move on to the next area. I want to say there are six such areas in the pinball zone, and two of them you will have to complete after you press the frog switch. Another thing to bear in mind is, in this stage, virtually every uh, unmarked block that is breakable has coins in it. What I mean by unmarked is those ones that look the same as the rest of the background blocks until you actually kill them, and I screwed this up already. I screwed that one up too. What you need to do in this room is you need to run all the way up to the top while you're on fire hitting every switch. There we go. Two tries. There's lots of hidden bonus rooms like this. I'm not really a fan of the music here, I'm just a huge fan of the level concept. Why can't I get that thing in there? Okay, that method works too. And I think the other two are just up there, but I'm gonna use a different method to get to them. If it's marked, if it's a marked breakable block, then it generally won't have anything in it for this stage. But if it's unmarked, it'll pretty much always have it. Like, there are a couple exceptions, I think, but... Just keep your eyes open. Having good instincts uh, for treasure hunting helps, too. I love that those objects stay loaded for a change now. That was a real pain in solving puzzles in 3. And don't let those uh, 500 coin pieces get away from you either. I believe there's a bonus up here I want to get to. Yeah, right in here. Diamond. Watch out for these spikes, too. They can send you flying. Oh, 
I actually have, I believe I actually have to be Fat Wario twice here. Another thing you may notice while manipulating uh, the pinballs that are in cramped quarters like that is they will move, and a lot of objects in this game will move whichever way you pound the ground. And that will be very important for puzzle solving later in the game. all the way down there from the other side without losing uh, Wario's weight that you need to bust open this block. Oh, this is another neat one. I missed it, though. Come on. Register, please. Thank what? I'm having trouble getting this. There we go. Now you need to race these guys to the bottom. I lost a couple of them down the middle. It's better if you have full life coming in here, because you'll miss out on a lot of coins if you don't, like I did. I believe the requirement for the gold crown here is relatively tight as well. Which is really weird, considering uh, that the area is called Pinball Zone, which is a game infamous for ridiculously high scores. Like, nine, ten digit scores. So you would think they would make this area fairly rich, but no. I believe the CD is up here. Yeah, it is. Now this here, I believe, is the last area before we hit the switch. Now I don't think there's anything hidden down here. pretty obvious, because then you'll spend a whole bunch of time looking for where the last one is. And that was a bad throw. I do like the lights leading to each individual... Uh, each individual node you have to throw the pinball in. Kind of like a... Kind of like a... Uh, the lights uh, indicating positioning for, like, ramps and sinkholes and such in real pinball machines. That's a nice touch. They did, they did so all sorts of little things like that with the environments, and I think it really makes the game... Like, it really makes the game immersive. And there are tons and tons of secret passages to find in here. Well, maybe not in this stage, but just in the game in general, and it... And it just adds to the game. There's all kinds of passages in here that not even Nintendo Power tells you about. I distinctly remember there being a hidden passage this way. 
I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Uh, maybe, I'm guessing they hide a diamond there on the upper difficulty levels. I didn't really practice this on all difficulties. I just played on hard to get... Uh, to refresh myself in the positions of the stages. Now, the time limit here might be pretty tight. Because I believe they eat, even on super hard, they give you something like four and a half minutes. Uh, they give you quite a bit. I'm not even going to worry about collecting all of these. I just want to get the balls out of here. So I can start getting them in position. Okay, that should be good. I think I'm going to get the far ones first. You won't have to worry about lining up your shots, because if you follow the lights, uh, all your shots will just fall into place. Which is really nice for a change. Also, you might see some sparks running around the ground from, uh, from those nodes hanging from the ceiling. Don't get hit by those, because if you get hit by one, you'll lose 500 coins. Although it is pretty easy to just randomly run into one if you, uh, if you're just supercharging through the level like I like to do. And no other than making you go fast, it has nothing to do with any of the supercharge moves from the Donkey Kong Country games. in the corner up here. Yeah, there is. One more area to go. going to let it sit up here for now and grab the other two later, because otherwise I won't be able to get all the coins. If you want the 50 coin pieces from each of the blocks, you're going to have to do these two at a time. And you'll have to be quick about it, because uh, the coins disappear very rapidly. I think I got that one just in time. They do give you a lot of time for this stage. Make sure you use it. Just don't, just don't feel rushed. be it. We have Keezer, we have the CD, now it's just a long ride back to the bottom of the pinball machine. That'll do it! That's... Although it's arguable what the... What the best stage in the game is. I think it's pretty much not arguable at all that that is the most fun stage in the Ruby Passage. Next time on Let's Play Wario Land 4, we're gonna fight Catbat and finish the Ruby Passage. 
for now, enjoy the CD we just collected. See you later.